Welcome to WTWO News at 11. I'm Mike Tank. The talk of the town continues to be about former Vigo County School Superintendent Danny Tanus. For almost 20 years, Tanus led the school corporation, but tonight he faces three felony charges for allegedly accepting gifts from a vendor. Taylor Williams has been covering the story all day and joins us with the latest detail. Taylor. Mike, earlier this evening, I was in downtown Terre Haute, and numerous residents made comments about the charges against Tanoose. It is obviously a topic that is on the minds of many, but during the regularly scheduled meeting of the school board, comments from officials were limited. New superintendent Dr. Robert Hayworth is presiding over a serious situation involving his predecessor. So I feel blessed to be here. Um, we'll work through this. Earlier Monday, the Marion County prosecutor filed charges against Tanoose for bribery. The 24-page affidavit alleges that Tanoose was influenced to award work to Newburgh Base Energy Systems Group, or ESG. The alleged activity occurred between 2013 and 2014. It allegedly involved bribes of food and beverages and tickets for events. The total value is not known at this time. Energy Systems Group issued a statement. It said, we are surprised and disappointed by the news of criminal charges filed today. ESG has and will continue to fully cooperate with law enforcement in the course of their investigation. Dr. Hayworth also said the corporation will cooperate fully during this time. Now this situation will work through. This is more of an adult situation as opposed to a child-centered piece. Um, we will continue to deliver quality education for our children. The charges against Tanoose are the latest legal issues that have troubled the corporation. Back in 2016, the FBI arrested former Vigo County Administrators Frank Fennell and Frank Shahady for alleged fraud, theft, and bribery, stealing close to $100,000 from the Vigo County School Corporation in a kickback scheme. Both men were convicted of those crimes earlier this year. Tanoose retired as superintendent in July and took over Shahady's position as the Corporation Director of Safety. Obviously, many people are reacting to the news, a number taking to social media, including our Facebook. The majority of comments reflecting feelings like this. We all knew this was coming, but a couple of people said, let's wait to hear what the evidence says. Tomorrow, the Board of Trustees will meet to discuss the matter. We will attempt to provide you information from that meeting. Also, earlier today, Danny Tanoose was taken into custody in Marion County Jail, and he is currently out on bond.